Whether you have pain in your back or joints, surgery may not be the answer. Instead of the dangers involved in cutting out tissue, consider healing and rejuvenating the area with stem cells, platelet-rich plasma, or prolotherapy. The treatments that are available to professional athletes are now available for you. Watch the videos at jointrehab.com or call the Darrell Wellness Institute at 800-300-9300. 800-300-9300. That's 800-300-9300. Welcome back to Living Pain-Free with Dr. Mark Darrow. I'm your host, Nita Valens, and we're taking your calls right here in the studio at 866-870-5752. That's 866-870-5752. And we are speaking with Jasmine in Seal Beach. Hey, Jasmine, Dr. Mark Darrow, I just want to talk a little bit to people who are just tuning in about what it is this show is about. Um, it's called Living Pain-Free, and it's about musculoskeletal orthopedic injuries, pain, arthritis, really from the back of the head, which is pain that you have, all the way down the neck and down the back and um, into the hips and the elbows and the fingers and the toes and the knees. I really inject pretty much the entire body when people have musculoskeletal injuries. There's no place probably that I haven't injected. and I'm not limited to just knees or shoulders or hips. Um, I've been doing this uh, a long, long, long time since um, my residency at UCLA. I started doing it there after I had an injury that was healed. It was my wrist that I hurt playing golf, and I went to another doctor's office that did this. He did a lecture at UCLA, and I went to hang out with him, and uh, his patient said he was God. And then he took me to a, um, a orthopedic regenerative medicine meeting in Las Vegas to learn, and um, I had my wrist injected there, and it healed 50% overnight, and at that point, I was I was hook, line, and sinker. This is what I'm going to do the rest of my life, and that's what I've been doing. So you're, I heard you mention in passing that you had a back surgery. Is that correct? Jasmine, are you there? All right, let's move on to Art. Okay. Art, this is Dr. Mark Darrow. How are you today? Very good. Art, I'm pulling off because I'm on the, in the car on a Bluetooth. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you pretty good. Thank you. Um, you have pain in your okay. right knee. And how long has that right been going knee. on, Art? Oh, pretty severe, about three weeks, and maybe for about two months. Ever before that? Uh years ago and then you had a period where it felt good well i actually got the prolotherapy and it lasted six years which was fantastic okay good um so just so people listening know what that means prolotherapy is proliferative therapy and back in the day we used to use sugar water to inject concentrated dextrose And what that would do is cause an inflammatory reaction, which would bring or sequester fibroblast to the area of the injury, and fibroblasts grow tissue. And studies show that ligaments would grow by about 50% in thickness and about two to 400% in strength. So prolotherapy was a great thing back in the day, and I'm glad you had it done. But it's very weak compared to using your own platelets or, or stem cells, okay? And I know because I've injected prolotherapy on myself for the last 25 years or so, and I don't use it anymore. Now I've moved up. And um, the last okay. injury I had to my knee, um, I injected prolotherapy about a dozen times, and it helped, but it wouldn't fix it. I'd, it would feel a little better, and I'd go back to running, and it would loosen up again. And then it would be painful again. And I did one PRP treatment, and that did the job. It just tightened it up overnight. And that knee has been pain-free ever since. It's been a few years. Um, Stem cells are even better. I've done stem cells on both my knees and shoulders. I've done PRP on other areas. Both my elbows I've done. My right wrist I've done. Actually, my right wrist was initially done with prolotherapy. That was my first injury that I injected myself with um, prolotherapy. So then, okay, um, 
let me describe a little bit. Okay, if I stand with my feet together, you know, in the same position, my left knee, I can jiggle it back and forth. It's real flexible. My right knee, I can barely push it back. Okay. And it looks like it's about four, maybe five inches in front of my left knee. Okay, so you have the a flexion contracture that is what that's called. Pardon? You have what we call a flexion contraction. You can't extend your knee 180 degrees. So uh, can you ever oh, okay. extend it if you're laying in can you extend it if you're laying in bed? Can it go straight if you're lying in bed? No, my right knee, I mean my left knee can will lay flat. My right knee yeah. doesn't even touch the mattress. It's okay. maybe about 3 so, inches above. Yeah, that knee should hurt. Okay, not that I want it to, but the force vectors on the knee are going in the wrong direction. If you look up a vector on Google, it's a direction of force. And what's happening is the femur is being pushed forward on the tibia. So the knee doesn't like that. It's not strong enough for that. So, yeah, I think regenerative medicine may be very, very good to strengthen the connections between those two bones. And I'm not sure we'll get your range of motion back. It depends. I'd have to look mm -hmm. inside with an ultrasound and see what's going on okay. in there, see if you have fluid in there that's taking up the space. When there is fluid in a joint, we call that an effusion, E-F-F-U-S-I-O-N. And with the ultrasound, I can see every drop of fluid, put it, numb it up, put a needle in there, and get every drop of fluid out. And I do it in a place that doesn't hurt. Most doctors who do it blindly are actually scraping the cartilage off the way they do it. It's not a good idea. It's a terrible idea to inject a knee, a shoulder, or a hip without an ultrasound to guide the needle, to watch inside and see where that needle is going. So be careful of that. So, but yeah, I think I can help you. Now, okay, now I noticed that uh, you're talking about fluid on the outside above my knee there's a little lump and it, yeah you, know, you probably have like some fluid, fluid. I don't, yeah yeah when i put it up on it it'll go down but then when i try and walk on it it uh yeah it really hurts okay so let me explain something else to people and to you when there's fluid inside okay. a joint it's typically because the joint is having a mechanical issue there's arthritis or something else going on meniscal tear, rotator cuff tear, whatever it is. So mm -hmm. what we do is during the procedure of regenerative medicine using platelets or stem cells, we will um, aspirate that fluid. We, put a, we numb it up, put a needle in to aspirate the fluid. Then we unscrew that syringe and put on the syringe with the regenerative medicine um, that we're going to use, that so we decide I've to use. I would not have to go through surgery and get my knee put, you know, whatever, exercised or pushed back something where it's, where it's like the other well, one. Well, you know, surgery is a decision for the patient, not the doctor. So that's something you yeah, have to decide. <laughs> no, no. It's something I, you have to decide. I think it's a good idea for everybody who has musculoskeletal pain to see an orthopedic surgeon or if it's pain down a leg or arm to see a neurosurgeon. But I don't think it's a great idea to do the surgeries all the time. I yeah. just last, okay. about a week ago, I actually told a person that had a hip arthritis to go get a hip replacement. I don't remember ever doing that in years. I mean, the hip was so locked up and the person just couldn't walk. And at that point, I said, mm. you know, you really should consider a surgery for that. But it's most of the time we can help people. You know, it's a lot simpler right, to because, walk in the office, get an injection, and walk out and drive home yourself than to get a surgery and have all kinds of p potential problems. Unfortunately, I see a lot of people that have had failed surgeries and they have worse problems than they had before the surgery. So I don't like surgery. That's just me. I'm not saying you shouldn't get it. You should always have different opinions, and then you're the patient. You own your body. You decide what to do. I'm not going to make you do anything. Well, I'm sorry, but I, it worked before, so I know I don't have to get surgery. And um, it just, the pain sometimes will, uh, if I'm walking, it 
from my inner part of my knee. It's like a big, sharp pain all the way up to my yeah. groin area. Okay. And then I did notice that my right hip seems to be lower than my left hip, and that's probably because my knee is forward, I guess. Yeah. Well, like with that flexion contracture, a lot of other parts of the body can start hurting. You can end up with back pain. You can end up with ankle pain, hip pain, and the opposite leg, what we call the contralateral leg, can have issues also from the imbalance. So I'd love to see if you want to get into the office. The phone number there is 800-300-9300. I'll repeat it while people are scurrying for their pen. Okay. It's 800-300-9300. Yeah, appreciate it. Really appreciate the call. God bless you, Art, and good luck with your knee healing. Thank you, Art. Our number is 866-870-5752 right here in the studio. You can speak directly with Dr. Darrow. Lines are open for you right now, but the hour is flying by, so call now. Don't wait till the last minute. 866-870-5752. Check out the website at w- <coughs> excuse me, www.lastemcells.com. That's lastemcells.com. And the office number again, in case you missed it, 800 300 And what time, else? Time for me? Yeah. Well, I just <laughs> wanted you to mention if there's anything else going on in the office you want people to know about. Yeah. The vampire facelift is a very cool thing uh, where we actually inject regenerative medicine, platelet stem cells, into the face. Very quick procedure, and it grows the collagen back in the face and makes people look young again. Mm. So we do a lot of that. And um, we do hair restoration. We can inject the same things into the head to help regrow hair. If you look like Dr. Phil, it's not going to work. But if your hair is thinning, it can work <laughs> really well. Patients patients love it. All right, I'm going to go to a back uh, question that came I've in. I've got Robert uh, waiting for you in Costa Mesa. Okay, well, let's let's do Robert in Costa Mesa. So, Robert, your shoulder and your back bother you, and how long has that been going on? This is Dr. Mark Darrow. Hi, Dr. Mark. My shoulder's been hurting for probably a year. Um, for, like, reaching up makes me wince. You know, trying to stretch yep. it out, it's just painful. But my uh, And my back is, you know, kind of always hurt. My question on the stem cell for recovery for, like, a shoulder when you're going for shots, what's the what's the average timeline for something like that? Are you talking about to heal or to leave it alone? To heal. Okay. Well, let me talk about the leave it alone period first, then we'll talk about the heal period. So typically what I do is I request patients after a treatment to come in in two weeks. During that two-week period, I ask them if it is a shoulder to leave it alone. You know, don't do sports, don't do repetitive activities, don't do things overhead. And then to stretch it twice a day. And we have golf clubs in every room in the, off, in the office to show people how to stretch their arm and make sure they don't lose range of motion. That's the worst thing. After a treatment, if, it, if it's sore after a treatment, which it does get a little stiff, then sometimes people don't want to lift their arm up, and that makes it worse. And um, a lot of people come in with what we call a frozen shoulder where the arm cannot lift all the way 180 degrees. And um, this treatment of regenerative medicine and stretching can help that too. So the first thing we do is we wait a couple of weeks, and then a patient comes back in. We reassess, and then they decide if they need to do another treatment or not. Very often, <clears throat> after one treatment, a patient will not feel any better. And then they'll do another treatment. Sometimes it takes two or three to get some results. So I don't have the answer for you specifically, Robert, on how long it takes to heal. Um, what I talk about on the show often is my own journey with my shoulder pain. And the first time I had it, I injected it one time. I was completely healed the next morning, full range of motion, no pain. The second time I injured it was 12 years later, and that took two treatments. Okay. And uh, the third time, it took months. So my shoulder is very active, and I do sports really hard. If I'm running, I'm usually sprinting. If I'm hitting a golf ball, it's uh, you know 100-mile-an-hour swing. And whatever I do, I like to do really hard and repetitively 
which is not good for my body. I know that. I'm a bad patient, but at least I know. <laughs> I am. I'm a terrible patient. Um, at least I know that I can heal myself by self-injecting. So I've been good so far. My body is feeling great. Hopefully I'll get to do some sports later today. And um, so that's the answer. The answer is I don't know. And it's a hard thing to tell people. I don't know. But, you know, people come in and go, well, then I'll get surgery because then I know. I'll get the surgery. I'll be healed. But the problem is I get half my new patients that have had failed surgeries. So we don't know if a surgery right. is going to work or not. Yeah, because I've been reading up a lot of stem cell and understanding the stem cell injections in the United States and the understanding the stem cell injections in other countries um, yeah. seem to be, you know, stronger because they they don't have the rules that we have to be at. Well, the only real difference is that um, – out of the U.S., there are some places that you can use embryonic stem cells, which you can't use in our country. Embry and they don't work any better. It's from a baby. We don't use um, abortion for birth control here. They do in Eastern Europe, and that's, you know, in other places, other countries. And that's where they get the embryonic cells from. So I don't like people to do that. I don't like killing babies, and it doesn't help anymore. And they're typically not live cells. So the cells we get, we can get from your own body. You know, we can do your own bone marrow. And that takes, uh, you know, a few seconds, like 15 seconds to do that procedure. So it's not a big deal. Um, I wouldn't go out of the country to do any kind of procedure medically, personally. I wouldn't do that. If something goes wrong, you're stuck. And the standard right. of care in other countries is not the same as our country. So I wouldn't meddle with that. You know, you're welcome to do it if you want to. Um, there's people that go out of the country down in Panama, other places, and they come back to me later and go, that was a fraud. So, you know, they didn't have a doctor do it. It was like a nurse that did it who doesn't even understand the anatomy. So I'd be so careful. Is there, an average of, is there an average to build up to go in and have the shots with you of a cost to say that it's going to take – you know, as an average, we get we were able to work on something that takes three to six months, or is it six months to a year? And that cost is it all. De grand. It all depends. I have to I have to examine you, look with the ultrasound inside, see what's going on. Maybe get an MRI, see what's going on, and then we talk and um, figure out what's going on. It's all different. Most people right. that come in with shoulder problems like yours, it's just a sprain of one of the rotator cuff tendons, and that's pretty easy to fix, pretty quick. If it's advanced arthritis, which I get a lot of where, you know, you start lifting their arm up and you hear, <laughs> that's going to take a while to regrow enough cartilage to get them better. So you see, it's not one size fits all. Everybody is different. And um, we talk about it before we decide whether or not the person should do the treatments. It's up to them. And when somebody's doing the so, treatment, do you, yeah. you advise on different kinds of vitamins that they should be adding in with that? Yeah, we do. We have a list of things that help grow tissue. Listen, Robert, God bless you. Thank you so much for calling in. We have a whole bunch of callers here. I want to get to Harry. You had a hip operation. How long ago was your surgery? Uh, April 4th, a year ago. And it okay, was very so successful. The, uh, Good. I've had Glad no problem it. with the hip. But okay. all through this, and I've been religiously uh, doing my uh, uh, therapy, Myself, after I, the therapist was done, but sure. my groin, my groin yeah. hurts, and at times it, it goes down the inside of my right leg and into my knee, and my knee hurts. They take an x ray, okay. not MRIs, but, and says, yeah. There's nothing wrong with your knee. Well, I said, Well, I know, I can tell you, it hurts like hell at times. And Here's what the deal going. is with you, Harry. I have to I have to touch the area. I have to examine it. You may just have what we call a sports hernia. It's not a it's not an inguinal hernia. It's a very easy thing to fix, and it can radiate down from the pubic bone all the way down to the knee, and it's the oh. adductor muscle that may have gotten stretched out during your hip surgery. So you got to come in the office for me to touch it. In two seconds, I can tell you if I can help you or not. If you want Good. to call in, the now number is 800. Let me say this first, 800-300-9300. Write that down, 800-300-9300, and then come on in. There's really nothing more that I have to ask you, and we have a lot of people waiting. So we're going to go to Steve, and Steve has low back pain. Hi, Steve. How are you today? 
Hey, how you doing, Doctor Mark? Hey, Dr. I'm living Mark, it up. My back. Hello. You hear yeah, me? I'm with you. I do, but okay, you sound uh, quiet. I can't hear you. Uh, I hear. Do you hear me? Yes. Keep yelling. I like it. Okay. Great. Uh, hey, my back has been up for a couple of weeks. The car, I went to the chiropractor, and it didn't really help. I just like to know now: is there anything I could do now to relieve some of the pain, anyway? Well, how did it happen? You know, it gradually happened. Over got, what period got, of time? Um, I got I got back here uh, uh, about six months ago. I broke my femur bone, and I was in therapy for about three or four months. And I got back, and the back is fine. But for some reason, gradually, the last couple of weeks, it just got uh, it just got worse in my back. Not worse. It just gradually started becoming painful and so forth. And well, I'm so, so uh, sorry to hear that. But often what happens is when we have a fracture of the femur, there is compensation when you're learning how to walk again, and the back ligaments true. can be sprained. So I think you're an easy fix for the back. I think regenerative medicine of platelets or stem cells may be the answer. But I have to touch the area to let you know. I've got to examine you and move you around, okay? So we're going to go sure. on to Joe at this point. He's got a tear in his left knee. Joe, how long has your knee bothered you for? Uh, it's been uh, this way for about, I'm going to say, two and a half years. I did go to... Uh, uh, orthopedist and they uh, did take a, an MRI and I went to some physical therapy but uh, it, I, I just I, I just thought okay I'm gonna keep wa- I'm gonna continue walking so walking <clears throat> is not okay. an issue I just want to get back to riding my bike <laughs> yeah I hear you well what did the MRI show that you had a, a meniscal tear in your knee yes on my left knee okay so let me tell you this because this is a shock to everybody that meniscal tear may have been there for 20 years, okay, and never caused okay. a problem. And it may not be the meniscal tear that the MRI shows that is causing your pain. So I have to examine you. i got to touch it, move it around, and let you know what's really going on. So the problem okay. with, with the MRIs and the orthos is they go, oh, you've got a tear. That's causing your pain. we got to operate, clean it out. And the truth is that's not the truth. It could be, but it may not be, because that tear may have always been there. Tears don't necessarily cause pain. Okay, but you know, doctor, I'm not in any pain, but what it feels like, it feels like I've uh, hyperextended my knee. Okay. And well, yeah. So I'd have to again. I'd have to look at it, have to move it around, and see what's going on. I can't tell you over the radio on a specific issue that you're describing. Yeah. So if okay. you want to come in, the number to the office is 800-300-9300. I'd love to see you. And, um, yeah, I mean, it's it's. Okay. It, I, I think I could help you. You know, I can't promise anybody I anything, so. but from what you're telling me, it's not terrible. Yeah, because they, they said, well, surgery will probably help you, but I don't want surgery. I don't want to re- knee replacement. Well, or anything let me like tell that. you what surgery does. When you have surgery on that, you're taking out tissue. What are you left with? Yeah. Nothing, pretty much. God bless, okay. man. Oh, I'm thank so Thank you, Nita Valens. You're a great host. Well, thank Go you, Go to my Dr. website, Darrow. and you can email me from any page. That's www.lastemcells.com. The office number is 800-300-9300. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you, Alex and Suzette. Listen to Warren Eckstein from 11 to 1 every Saturday. I'm Nita Valens. Thanks for listening. You've been listening to Living Pain-Free with Dr. Mark Darrow. Now that you've heard Dr. Darrow, you can schedule an appointment to talk with him in person by calling his office anytime at 800-300-9300. That's 800-300-9300. Or go online to lastemcells.com. Again, the website is lastemcells.com. Living Pain-Free with Dr. Mark Darrow is heard every Saturday at 10 a.m. and 1 p.m. here on AM870, The Answer. Remember, 
To take the first step toward a pain-free life, schedule an appointment by calling 800-300-9300. That's 800-300-9300. Live long and pain-free. And thanks for joining us today.